to Vlogoween day number six. Are you excited? Thank you to everybody who voted on my poll yesterday. I was kind of stuck indecisive between two different videos about which one I should do today. One was a first impression Friday on the new Kylie Purple Fall collection, which I don't know you guys, I'm kind of torn. I would still like to do a video on that. And then the other option was testing out some Halloween snacks straight from Japan. And I believe last time I checked a couple of hours ago, it was 68% of you guys voted, let's test these Japanese snacks today. So that is what we are gonna be doing. We are actually testing a snack delivery service called Japan Crate. And and they sent me over their Halloween box. So we are going to be testing and sippy sippying on 15 different uh, snacky snacks. And also, if you click the link in the info box, I am doing a little giveaway for you guys. One lucky winner will win this entire box of Japanese snacks. A new one, obviously not the ones that I'm gonna be tasting today. And the Oogie Boogie popcorn container that I just brought back from Walt Disney World. I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog. I said I was gonna bring him down, show him to you guys, told y'all I had one for the giveaway. So that giveaway begins today. Check the info box down below. I don't wanna waste too much time like verbally going over the rules of this little giveaway. So all of the rules, the info, and how to enter will be in the info box down below. Also, as promised, here he is. I told you guys I was going to show him to y'all today. So he does come with a strap and the one for the giveaway is brand new, wrapped in plastic with the strap attached obviously. Dogman and I have set this little guy out on our fireplace right now so we took the strap off because do you know what I mean it would look kind of weird with the strap. Also a lot of you guys were asking on Instagram when I posted this picture a week or so ago how is this a popcorn container because it doesn't really look like you could eat popcorn out of this. Yes! Well he's got a little thing in the back. So that is how they fill him up. They just pour all of your popcorn in here. You wear him on the strap around your neck and you munchy munch the popcorn out of his butt. Sa -sa 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 -sa. I don't remember if we've ever done a Japan crate before. The first thing I wanna do is taste this drink. It is a Lipton creme brulee liquid. So there was one trick or treat item that you could get in this crate. So some people got the trick item and some people got the treat item. At least I did get the treat item, but this is still pretty exotic. So the trick item that you could have gotten is shajimi clam miso soup. Yes, you could have gotten a can of clam soup. Doesn't that sound horrifying? So it is milk, tea, and sugar. Amazing. It's supposed to make for a very nostalgic autumn taste. Caramel apples and caramel corn. This is, I guess, caramel pudding. I really, I wonder if I really ever have had creme brulee. Oh, this does not, this makes me want to gag. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. Oh, I really don't want to hurl right on the beginning. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in a gag. I still have a weird aftertaste in my mouth. I kind of definitely did want to get this over with first because this was the trick or treat item. You know, I feel like even though I got the treat option, it was still kind of like a tricky, there was just, there was something not quite right about it, okay? It tasted not that bad. Like the flavor of the drink on the palate, I couldn't swallow it, but like the flavor in the mouth was not that bad, but it was like the smell. Do you know what I mean? It was it was too intense. Let's have a sippy sippy. At least hopefully we're done with the nastiness. Let's get into something that looks delightful. I have no idea. Oh, I do. Uh, it says shimmy choco corn. I still like don't really know what that means, but I am excited because the packaging looks adorable and it says Halloween on it. Chocolate puff corn snacks are sure to satisfy those potato chip and chocolate cravings you've been having. They look like Count Chocula on steroids. They smell really good. Oh my gosh, they're actually kind of chocolate coated. They feel almost like you are touching a piece of chocolate more than, you know, a piece of cornflake or something. Mmm, these are delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. These taste just like, I think, I think it's called tojito. 
I try those all the time in my candy son videos. They are like a caramel corn, like puff corn snack as well. So tasty, so crunchy. Do taste like they have a thin layer of chocolate on them. I would totally recommend these guys. This looks like it's gonna be something a little bit more exotic. Look at the packaging. Oh my gosh. Even on the back, look at this little ghost. These are so cute. See what I'm saying? Like Japan really has it all figured out. Like the marketing, the packaging, the products, always 10 times more adorable than anything you ever see in the States. So this is a crispy and slightly sweet snack. They don't really um, talk about the flavor much. It does look like it has some kind of green seasoning on it. I do not know what that is. Let's hope for the best. Oh! Very crunchy. We have another hit. So this does smell like Cracker Jacks and it pretty much tastes like Cracker Jacks. It is extremely crunchy though. So I would advise like kind of be careful when you're biting down on it. I would totally recommend this once again, like a very tasty caramel corn kind of flavor. I still do not know what the green stuff is. Is it seaweed? I don't know. I didn't really taste anything like planty. Up next we have these are three things and I think I have tasted or tried something from this brand before. The packaging looks extremely familiar. I don't know that I've ever had a Halloween one though. So these are called Umiba. Uh, no, I just said Amoeba in a funny accent. It's like Uma I boo. It says that these things are a festive corn potage flavor and they say corn potage is a soup associated with the fall months and it can even be found in vending machines. I guess soup vending machines are a big thing in Japan. Look at that. It's almost like a big hollow Cheeto. Ooh, this once again smells a little bit less delightful. Wow, but it's so good. I really liked this. It definitely is a savory flavor. You don't taste too much of a corn flavor. To me, it almost tastes a little bit like ramen because it's so salty, but I really love that in a snack. I will definitely be eating all three of these. Up next, we have something sweet and something pretty cute. Look at that adorable packaging. It is just a cute pumpkin lollipop. It'll be interesting to see if the actual candy has a face on it as well. And I guess these come in a variety of flavors. We could have also gotten green apple or grape, but we got orange. Maybe all of the pumpkin ones are orange, actually. That would make the most sense since pumpkins are orange. Oh my gosh, he does have a faint little face. How cute. No face on the back either. You guys, I feel like there's a lot of love and care that goes into making and designing these things. I feel like everything I try becomes my new favorite, but this is seriously delicious. It's not just orange flavor. It definitely tastes more like an orange cream, orange creamsicle flavor. I wish I had time to eat this whole lollipop right now. This is perfect for fall though. I just wanna sit here eating this lollipop, contemplating life. Now this has jumped up to my absolute favorite item we have tasted so far. Everything just keeps getting better and better. Let's move on into the next thing, which is an assortment of Halloween high chews. I think we also get a grape one because it's a little ghost holding a strawberry or a grape. You guys, this is too adorable. It's like the packaging that I hate to rip open because I just want to keep it forever and ever and ever. Are high chews this fancy in the States? I don't feel like high chew is normally a candy that I go for. So this is the strawberry one, obviously, because it's pink. Wow. You guys, I'm gonna get American high chew now and see if they're this good. This is delicious. I don't wanna stop eating it. Ooh, the grape one smells just like grape juice. So this one does not look like it has the little fragments of, um, you know, like grape in it, like the strawberry one did. This one is really good too. 
Do I not know how to eat a high chew? Am I just supposed to stick the whole thing in my mouth? <laughs> Extremely delicious. I'm totally gonna go find some high chews tomorrow and I hope that they are gonna be that good. Look at this. The candy is in a triangle shaped package. I am impressed. So we have had this brand of Japanese candy before. They are called Pure Gummies. And I almost think that last time we tasted Cat Paws or something by this brand. These are assorted. So we will either get orange or grape. We only got orange ones in this package. No grape to taste. Crazy. These are incredibly delicious they taste like very very tangy sour patch kids love them oh now my tongue feels like tingly <laughs> up next we have these cute rice snacks look at the ghosts on this package i am living they are not these are fried rice crackers this is a sweet and salty flavor of sweetened soy sauce crazy so this is supposed to kind of balance out the sweet flavors that you'll be eating during the halloween season with all the candy and stuff like that mm, they smell really good i don't really smell soy sauce for some reason when i smelled this i was just reminded of christmas christmas is coming it just looks like a puffy rice snack i almost said a puffy rice circle oh ah so hard I'm a little bit on the fence about that one. When I first put it in my mouth, I was like, oh, not that good. But then as I was kind of like chewing on it and I was getting more of the soy saucy kind of flavor, it grew on me a little bit. Up next, we have something that like kind of grosses me out just to say it. They are maple butterbeer Ramune candies. And I recently entered the world of Ramune. I had never had it before last time's taste test, I believe. And I actually liked it, and I like the Ramune flavored candies that we had, but it's something about the word maple butterbeer that does not appeal to me. Oh, it smells like popcorn. It smells like popcorn candy. I'm not gonna like this. This is literally supposed to taste like the Harry Potter butterbeer. Um, eh, oh, do not like. Oh, do not, do not like. Oh, do not like, do not like, oh. Oh, it's still fizzing. <laughs> if you like unique things happening in your mouth, you're probably gonna like this. It starts to fizz and explode. I guess that that's why his mouth is foaming. It literally does start to foam up in your mouth like butterbeer foam. I'm sure if I had read the whole thing, it would have clued me in on that, but oh, I do not like the fizz in my mouth and I did not like the flavor. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. Let's get back into something I know is going to be extra delightful, which is the Koala's March cookies. I feel like I have shown these to you guys multiple times. Not only are they adorable, they are delicious, and they are little cookie crisps that are filled with chocolate. This is even more adorable. So you can actually cut out the side of the box, and there's a little jack-o'-lantern mask that is so cute. They are printed with these little koalas on the front. They are flaky, crispy, I'll bite into one. That's what they look like on the inside. They have uh, like a thin little layer of chocolate to go with the cookie. So tasty. Hmm. Up next, we have a DIY candy kit. So this is called Okashi no Mizume. And we can pick whether we want to make melty soda, slimy strawberry, or flowy lemon flavored slime. This is definitely very different. I don't think that there is necessarily a DIY aspect. I thought we were gonna have to load something in here. I kind of can't tell what's going on. It looks like they're adding the blue, the yellow, the pink, but I think we just like squirt it in there. Look at that. It is so thick. It just looks like syrup, kind of unpleasant. Look at that. Oh, thick stuff like that. It's not really appealing. Is that appealing to you? I'm gonna add the red one to it because doesn't red and blue just make purple? Ugh, look at that. It's just making a mess. Look at that. 
It's kind of turning purple, honestly. Oh, look, it kind of did. Oh, that's weird. It's so thick that it's like a lollipop, definitely. Like, I can't imagine how you would just chow down on this, you know? Ugh. Oh, mistake. Mistake. We are now into the Monster Cider Stamp. So I guess that this is a candy that you actually lick and then it's kind of like a toy. You can stamp with it on paper. It looks like we got three different designs, two witches, one ghost, and one pumpkin. It does look like a little stamp and then you guys can see the design on the bottom. Whoa! It makes such a clean stamp. Like I thought it was gonna look so silly or messy but you can actually tell that that's a witch. That's crazy, crazy. That one's a little bit messier than the rest of the stamps, but still, really clearly, you can tell it's a jack-o'-lantern. I wish I could order those in bulk because that would be a really fun trick-or-treat candy to hand out. Although I will admit, I just taste like a sugar flavor. I don't really specifically taste cider, but that is still a really fun candy. Up next, we have something called a Black Thunder Halloween Bar. And look at these little goblins over here. So, so cute. And it just says that it is chocolate in adorable packaging. Hmm, that was so tasty. I really wish that they told us the ingredients because it definitely looks like it has maybe like brownie bits on the inside, something crunchy, maybe a little bit of peanuts. Very, very tasty. Up next is a candy that I'm very familiar with. They are exotic tropic chupa chups. This is the pineapple coconut flavor. This is probably included, honestly, just for the vibrant, like, green and yellow colors because there isn't anything, like, you know, Halloween uh, related technically about it. I love when candies are kind of like that strawberry high chew we saw earlier that look like they have little flecks of fruit inside of them. That's just so aesthetically pleasing to me. Mmm. Summary. Of course, I totally recommend that one. It is delicious and I actually buy Chupa Chups all the time. I know that that is something that we can get here. And last but not least, I can't believe it, we're at another caramel pudding related thing. So, you know, it's been a good 15 minutes since I've had a gag. Why not? This is caramel pudding Kit Kats. And I know that Different flavored Kit Kats are always a big thing in Japan. I think we have tried some other ones in past taste testing videos. I know that also they have like green tea Kit Kats and strawberry Kit Kats and they are wrapped pretty cutely. We've got like this crazy scarecrow thing or a mummy and I can smell the creme brulee stuff from here. Here's a witch with four hands it looks like. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, oh my gosh. This one's the cutest, so we're gonna eat this one because it's the Grim Reaper shaking his own hands, congratulating himself for this terrific candy. You guys, I really can't even stomach the smell. I kinda don't wanna put this in my mouth right now. Ugh. Already do not like, because I do not like white chocolate. <laughs> that was not as bad as the creme brulee drink, I will admit that, but it was still not my favorite. I don't know. I just like, I'm not a fan of white chocolate. It's too rich and too sweet for me. That was not my favorite. My favorites of the day is definitely the strawberry and grape high chews, the koala march cookies. You can never go wrong with those no matter what the season. Uh, the pumpkin lollipop and also these pure orange gummies. Those were so extremely tasty. And definitely the two nastiest things of the day were these maple butter beer Harry Potter weirdnesses and this thing in a bottle. I would not recommend either of those. 10 out of 10. Extremely disgusting. And you guys, I feel like I'm not used to this. I feel like I kind of am giving myself a headache. Can we just have a wig peeling off session? What did you guys think about this? I feel like I have not worn a wig in a video since my Bear in Heaven outfit of the day. Like what? Four, five years ago? 
where I had a crazy lavender wig, but this was pretty fun. I got about four or five of them for the Halloween, Halloween season. And then I kind of like did a lot of, well, I didn't do, I followed a lot of tutorials where they said to kind of like paint matching eyeshadow. I just wanted to see how much of a green line was on my forehead, honestly. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I hope my energy was okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still super exhausted from yesterday's photo shoot activity. I kind of twisted my ankle a little bit, walking into the field in super high heels. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. So I hope I can get some sleep tonight and be a little bit more refreshed for day seven of Vlogoween. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me all month. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so that you are notified each and every day when I upload a video for Vlogoween. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!